Well, good morning, fourth graders, and welcome back to math class. All right, as usual, we're going to start off with our exit ticket from the previous lesson yesterday, which was lesson eight. And we're going to uh, just do a regular uh, multiplication, uh, three digit by one digit and four digit by one digit, okay? So <clears throat> I hope that you remember how to set your problem up and the steps we take to go through that. Uh, down the directions say represent the following expression with discs and regrouping. Um, we, we don't want to do that. What I want you to do is just solve these problems the way that you know how to, okay? We'll do the disc things together and um, to check for understanding or to expand your understanding. Uh, but for today, just take these problems, these two problems, rewrite them over here, and then solve, okay? We'll give you about five minutes, maybe a little bit less. We'll see what the how long it takes you to do it. Uh, to get it finished, all right? Give it a shot. Teachers, pause now. Okay, hopefully that was um, uh, pretty quick for you. Hopefully you remember what we did yesterday, but don't worry, we're gonna be doing more of it today. Okay, so here is the answers. Here are the answers, okay? Use the correct verb subject agreement. So over here, I had four times 513. That's what I wrote here. Put them a big number on top, of course. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. And then, we went right through. Four times three is 12, put down the two, carry the one into the tens place. Four times one is, one, is four, plus one is five, so that's five tens. And then four times five, and that five's in the hundreds place, it comes to 20. So I put down my 20 right here, put my comma, it's 2,052. All right, down here, okay? It's three times 1,054. So I wrote it just like this, my three right down here. So three times four is 12, put down the two, carry the one. Five times three is 15, plus one is 16. I put down my six right here and carry the one. Three times zero is zero, plus one. That's one, okay? And three times one is three. So I end up with 3,162, okay? All right, uh, those are my answers for that. Uh, today we're going to do more practice just like doing this, all right? I am going to show you about um, partial regrouping, partial products a little bit, uh, but for the most part, we're just going to do straight up uh, multiplication and really practice it today um, and get used to it. If you need to use a multiplication chart, it's okay in my classroom. Hopefully it's okay in yours. Um, and if you're finding that you're struggling with multiplication facts, it's really on you to study at home and, and get it done. All right, kids, let's have some fun today. We'll see you in a bit for the I Can Statement.